I will teach you about rule number 19 of the international regulations for preventing collisions at sea, or simply put, the traffic rules of ships. But we are going to do this in layman's term. Rule number 19. Restricted visibility. First, make sure you are navigating at a safe speed. This the speed of your vessel that allows maximum possible time for taking effective action to avoid collision. And you can still be stopped within a safe distance. If your ship is powered by engines, you should keep your engines ready for quick maneuvers. No exceptions. Putting the engines on standby may reduce your speed and may increase fuel consumption, but this must be accepted in the interests of safety. Now, if you detect another ship only by radar and it seems like you might get too close or there's a a chance of a collision, you should take action with enough time to spare. If you need to alter your course, try to avoid doing these. 1. Do not turn to port when that target is ahead of you, except when you are overtaking her. 2. Do not turn towards that ship if she is a beam of you or abaft the beam. And unless you are sure that there is no risk of collision, if you hear the sound signal of another ship ahead of you, or if you cannot avoid getting too close to the other ship ahead, reduce your speed to the lowest possible enough to keep your course, or if necessary, stop and navigate with extreme caution until the danger of collision is over. Remember, this rule applies only to ships that cannot see each other when they are sailing in or near an area where visibility is poor. This means that as soon as you both can see each other, you shall comply with the rules for vessels in sight of one another, which includes head-on, overtaking, or crossing situations. Most importantly, there is no stand-on or give-way vessel in restricted visibility. Every vessel must take action. If I made it clear to you, comment BASIC.